What's up everybody? Welcome back to my personal finance channel. My name is Kyle DePepe and today we're going to be talking about Bit Digital and the potential fraud that's going on there. So they are actually, I guess they, they were up today because, well, Bitcoin, if you've been watching the price, Bitcoin had a crazy rally going from 33000 all the way back up to $40,000, a 7,000 point rally, basically erasing all of the losses that happened January 10th, 11th, going back to near highs. But Bit Digital today, it was at one point up, I think around like two points to, to over $20 a share uh, up, I guess that probably would have been around 10%, I think. Either way, it traded all the way back to flat. It was actually down. I don't know if it's down right now or not, but it was very close to flat or down on the day. That is because a company called J Capital came out basically with a fraud allegation for Bit Digital, and that's what we're gonna get into today. Real quick, before we get into why Bit Digital is down today, I just want to say if you're enjoying the content or enjoying any of these videos, please give them a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel it would really help me out. Really appreciate it. But let's get into why Bit Digital is not trading up as much as companies like Riot and Mare. All right, guys, I got my laptop here so we can look at this J Capital Research short thing. I just want to read some, I, I guess, quick sentences from um, from their short report. It's pretty interesting and actually pretty scary. And and this is why I would say. Be careful when you're playing any of these Bitcoin miners. A lot of them, I feel like I talked about it once, sometimes it's these companies that just pivot. They just hop from whatever's hot in the market from one thing to the next. You don't know if they actually have real purchase orders, if they actually have a Bitcoin mining rig farm mining Bitcoin. You don't know if they actually have Bitcoin or if they're just making it all up, especially when they're based in some other country where there's, you know, it's harder to, to validate a lot of what they're saying um, and they can sort of manipulate documents potentially. So J Capital Research, I'm looking at their website now. Um, Bit Digital is the title of this, I guess, article. And it, the first quote says, the company was not able to reach Mr. Liu. Um, so there you go. I mean, basically they can't reach, I think what is supposed to be the CEO of Bit Digital. So Bit Digital, interestingly enough, I think I mentioned this in a video as well. They pivoted from like a peer-to-peer -peer lending platform and a car rental business and became a Bitcoin mining company. What? Like, it, clearly that already smells sort of odd. Um, so the first thing here is that it says, with key executives in jail or on the lam for having built Chinese investors out of $42 million in fraudulent peer-to-peer -peer business, BitDigital has moved on to a fake cryptocurrency business. We will show that the assets probably do not exist and the business is designed to steal funds from investors. So they're claiming that there are no actual Bitcoin mining rigs. They don't have any operational Bitcoin mining rigs. Meanwhile, I think BitDigital was saying at the end of 2020, they had close to 40,000 miners mining at like 2,200 petahashes, um, which is you know nothing to snuff about. It's pretty decent mining uh, hash right there. But if, if they have none of these mining rigs, if they have no Bitcoin and they have $42 million, that they owe from fraudulent peer-to-peer -peer lending business that they used to be or something. I don't know. This just sounds really sketchy and that's basically why they ended up trading down today even though Bitcoin has shot back up to close to all-time highs. You have a Riot blockchain up 20%, Marathon Patent up 7%. Meanwhile, Bit Digital is just getting I mean, yeah, they're negative on the day at this point. They're trading at $17.91. I, I have no idea where this is going. I would just say, be careful out there, guys. It's things like this that can just happen so easily. I guess I would say like on the drop of a hat, these fraud allegations come out and these stocks that are high flyers can just collapse. I mean, if something like this came out for Riot or Marathon, like look at Riot. It's trading at all time highs today. I think it hit like $29 a share. If one of these short reports or basically fraud allegations came out, that could easily collapse down to $25, $20 just the next day. It would just gap down. You don't have a chance to sell. So when you're looking at these as alternate, alternative investments instead of just buying Bitcoin, you have to consider how, how legitimate do you think this business is? Um, you know, could something like this happen? And that's why I, I am definitely careful when some of these uh, companies are you know, Chinese based or whatever because sometimes it's really, it's really hard to verify um, what's going on when it's a US company um, or even a Canadian company I just feel like it's it's sort of a, a different ball game to a degree but granted there's there's fraud reports that happen all the time I mean just look at Enron right that was probably one of the greatest scandals in American history as far as this giant corporation just defrauding investors 
making up numbers, just coming up with more and more schemes to keep the ball rolling. So it can happen. It can happen to any, any company, but we've obviously seen these short reports come out from companies like Citron Research, for example. They'll do short reports, and I just feel like uh, being a trader uh, in, in one of my past uh, uh, career positions, it just felt like the majority of these short reports were always Chinese based companies because it's harder to sort of validate and verify some of these things. And a lot of people don't, aren't going to go fly to China and go to these small towns where they're based and, and check out the operations and all that stuff. So until you get this, uh, you know, J capital research that puts in the work or knows, knows someone over there that can go check on the factory, it's hard to sort of verify and validate this stuff, which makes it tricky. But either way, that is why they are not up today. That is why you might want to take your profits and run. That is why I am not buying them. Uh, I'm going to stay away with more than a 10 foot pole in this situation because I just don't want to get caught up and worry about not being able to recoup my investments, them getting delisted, them just dropping to $10, $5, $4 overnight because people realize that it's all a sham. They owe tons of money. They have no assets. They're not mining any Bitcoin and you just never know. So I would just say be careful out there. Do your due diligence. Look into these companies, and at worst case, diversify. So if you did buy Bit Digital, you might also look to buy Bit Digital, Marathon, and Riot. That way, you know you kind of have hopes that at least one of the three isn't a scam. And then, you know, as a fourth investment, buy Bitcoin directly, right? If that's what all these uh, sort of investment theses are based on, right? The idea that Bitcoin is going to go up in price. If Marathon, Riot, and Bit Digital are all mining Bitcoin, they're holding some Bitcoin and that's how they're getting their price appreciation. Well, to completely hedge that and get rid of this securities fraud or fraudulent companies, just buy Bitcoin itself, right? That's why I have Bitcoin itself invested or money invested in Bitcoin itself in addition to buying these companies. Now, I personally do hold some call options with Marathon and Riot. I did take some money off the table last week um, and Luckily it worked out because Bitcoin had that huge correction sort of Sunday night into Monday, the companies went down. I didn't buy back anything, so I just realized those gains. Bitcoin's back to all time highs, Riot's at all time highs, Marathon's going back up. They just did a uh, equity offering to raise more money. So, you know, these are all very bullish things for these companies. Uh, I haven't initiated any more positions, but uh, just be careful out there and just, you know, that's why Bit Digital is down today. If you, if you didn't see that or didn't understand what was going on, why they weren't going up, and maybe if you bought some on this because you thought maybe they were lagging the rest of the, the, the Bitcoin miners, just be careful because there's fraud allegations. They're basically saying it's a sham company. They have no actual mining rigs. They have no Bitcoin, and they owe $42 million to peer-to-peer -peer lenders that they frauded and scammed and whatever. So I, I'm staying far away from Bit Digital. Just be careful out there, guys. But that is why Bit Digital is down today. I hope this video was helpful. Um, stay safe in the market, guys. Uh, and uh, hedge your bets by diver diversifying a little bit, right? Buy a little bit of one and another. That way, at least you're spreading your risk between two different companies um, or just buy Bitcoin itself and uh, put your own Bitcoin into cold storage that you know the passwords of and nobody else can touch. Either way, um, you do you, just do your due diligence, um, know what you're getting into, know your risks. And the way I like to look at a lot of investments is I'm risking 100% of whatever capital I put into this trade and hoping to make a good return. But uh, if you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, it would really help me out, I would really appreciate it. And until the next time guys, thanks for watching.